Hi folks, I'm hand spinning teacher Abby Frankema and you're here in my home with me today so I can show you how to wind a double stranded ball from multiple yarn sources so that you can ply from it very easily with a spindle or other device for plying with if you would like. Okay, so now we are going to wind our two sources of yarn into a double-stranded ball for plying from. I have these on these two bobbins, but they could also be balls of yarn or still be on spindles. I have placed this uh, washcloth in this bowl to reduce noise as things roll around a little bit. To begin, take one end off of one ball of yarn or bobbin and the other end off of the other and hold them together. Now I'm going to place this on the floor out of the way. Holding these together, I place them on a coin and hold them tightly to the coin and begin wrapping around the coin. You don't have to use a coin or anything at the center of this, but you may find that you like to because it gives you something to hold on to as you start winding. So you can see I'm just carrying these together and they're going along very nicely. I want to point out that I am not putting my finger in between these strands to keep them separated. See that? I'm not doing that. I am winding them together. Now the important thing is to make sure that they stay under even tension. I do that by sliding my hand down and pulling them out under tension. What I don't want to have happen is something getting wound into the ball where this is kinked up on itself or things are under uneven tension. So watch for that. And the way to get rid of them is to slide, just slide down the yarn and then wind on the part that you've slid your hands down. And then rotate every so often to keep winding. You want to wind tight and firm so that you don't have any uh, problems with yarn trying to tangle on itself just sitting in the ball. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm inspecting and I can see if I, uh, if I found a length of yarn I didn't like. Let's, let's suppose I didn't like this one. I'm going to break it and take it out. And now I've still got two strands here. And what I do to keep winding is I'm just going to overlay these together. Just lay them over each other, right next to each other. And then basically just keep winding and wrap them around. And that will just ply itself right in when we get to that point, when we actually get to the plying. Now, what if I wanted to make this a three-ply yarn? Well, I have another bobbin right here with some yarn on it, and I'm just gonna carry three together now from this point on. So, same way to begin and I'm holding them under even tension and I'm doing this slide down to make sure that they are evenly tensioned. See how right here they are not evenly tensioned? Here they are. You can see that they are all side by side. And then they are good to wind on. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you subscribe to be notified as new videos are added. And uh, if today is your birthday, happy birthday. Oh, also, uh, check back in with me on New Year's Day when I will be releasing a special and very fun video involving the use of this for spinning purposes.